Good afternoon, I'm Rich Carroll. I'm here in Salt Lake City today at Utility Trailer, Sa Trailer Sales of Utah. I'm here to talk about aftermarket opportunities for Jost fifth wheels. The aftermarket opportunity is very good. There's now 300,000 trucks on the U.S. highways with Jost factory fit fifth wheels, but on top of that, there's millions of trucks on the road with competitive fifth wheels. Jost manufactures and sells aftermarket top plates that retrofit to our two main competitors, which means you have an opportunity that when somebody is looking for a rebuild kit for a competitive top plate, instead of simply taking that order, you can upgrade them, improve your own margins and revenues by selling a complete Joe's top plate that fits the competitive assembly. If somebody comes in to buy a rebuild kit, they can buy the rebuild kit, the competitive rebuild kit, from virtually anybody in town. So we're going to encourage you, instead of just taking that fast order, to say to them, well, gee, why? Why do you want to do that? And they're going to say, well, we always have. Why wouldn't we? Well, why do you want to spend $400 on a kit and four hours of labor, and maybe most importantly of all, have your vehicle out of service when you can buy a Joe's top plate that will retrofit to that pedestal and be down the road an hour later earning money for about the same price as the rebuild. So now you maybe I hopefully have your attention and you have your customer's attention because the next question will be, well, why else? Why else would I, would I want a Joost? Well, why else? And we started in 1999 with Joost in, in Tennessee for the U.S. Uh, North American market. And when we started, our competitors had a 60-year head start. So how did we sell any? We sold because of safety of the locking mechanism and because of lifetime cost of ownership. The safety then starts, this is the lock position on a Joe's fifth wheel. You'll see that our locking bar comes completely across the throat of the casting. You might think that all fifth wheels do that, they don't. There's a common fifth wheel that closes like so. And you're pulling against the only opening, which to me, I'm not an engineer, but that doesn't make any sense. So in the lock position, the kingpin is pulling on this entire mass, which is supported by the ribs of the casting. When you open the Joe's fifth wheel, this is when fifth wheels get damaged or false coupled because things aren't at the right height. We have kingpin guides that guide the kingpin in. Every fifth wheel has a trigger. The Joe's trigger is here. You have to push this locking bar back. If you land on top of it, it's not going to move anywhere. The guides have now drawn the kingpin flange down and in push this locking bar out of the way, it'll swing the one piece jaw out of the way, and you're now locked. The, the noise, the bang you heard is the locking bar banging into our adjustment bolt. This is out here. So the adjustment bolt controls the travel of that locking bar. To adjust it, you loosen this lock nut and you back it back out. When you back it back out, it's going to allow the locking bar to travel further, which pushes it tighter on the kingpin. This is a cushion ring in every Joe's fifth wheel. It's carbon fiber material. It protects the throat of the fifth wheel. It doesn't wear the trailer kingpin. And as you get into rebuilds on Joe's, you can replace the cushion ring. So when you do a rebuild on Joe's, you're back to factory spec. This is a grease line that allows your end user to deliver grease right through the jaw. Oops. Traditionally people rely on the grease from the fifth wheel top plate to fall into the lock to do the lubrication, which it does. The problem is that by the time it falls into the lock it's dirty and gritty and abrasive. So the lube line, clean fresh grease to the jaw, and your locking mechanism is going to have a much uh, much longer life than it would have otherwise. So those are the four moving parts of the Joe's locking mechanism. To go full circle, this goes right under the competitive pedestal. You've solved a problem for your customer that he probably didn't know he had because he's always done it. My belief is that if you solve a problem for your customer, he's going to come to you for other components that he can order from anybody in town. So your customer is happier, his truck is on the road, You've increased your revenues, you've increased your margins, and you've differentiated yourself as a problem solver from everybody else in town who's just willing to save that, sell that replacement kit. So that, in essence, is the philosophy of how we've gone through the market on the Joe's. JSK 37 HSL replaces Holland. 
JFK 37 FSL replaces Fontaine, available through the utility aftermarket program. Good luck.